from being booted off of a team to becoming a boomer sooner. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. I'm Nick Heeman. The University of Oklahoma has announced that former Missouri receiver Doriel Green Beckham has been officially added to the school's football program. DGB can join the team immediately and enroll in classes, but as of right now, he is not eligible to suit up on game days. This all goes back to his several off-the-field incidents in his time as a Tiger, the most recent of which was a burglary investigation where Green Beckham allegedly shoved a female down a flight of stairs. MU coach Gary Pinkle then dismissed him from the team back in April, making him unable to play for any FBS school this upcoming season because of NCAA transfer rules. However, OU expects to appeal for an NCAA waiver in the hopes that DGB can play for the school immediately. Another former Missouri athlete is in the news, although her college career is now over. Volleyball star Molly Krecklow has been nominated for the 2014 NCAA Woman of the Year Award. The list will be narrowed down to 10 Division I candidates later in the year, and a winner will be selected in October. The award honors graduating female student athletes who have had college success in academics, athletics, service, and leadership. Just another recognition for Krecklow, who is the SEC Player of the Year this past season. Lots of former Mizzou phenoms in the start of the sportscast today, so let's go ahead and talk about two more. Major League Baseball action. Former Tiger pitcher Max Scherzer was as dominant as usual yesterday. He struck out seven batters and gave up just two hits in his 10th win of the year. And it wasn't just Scherzer. Ian Kinsler, former Tiger, also had a good day at the yard. Ropes this ball to left field in the second inning. His 11th knock of the year. Both players helped Detroit beat Tampa Bay. And staying in the majors, the Cardinals are now past the halfway point of the season. They're looking to inch closer to the NL best Milwaukee Brewers in the Central Division. Cards taking on San Fran last night. Second batter of the game is Johnny Peralta. He hits a fly ball to left. Looks like left fielder Tyler Colvin has it. And then maybe center fielder Blanco. But, well, no one has it. That thing leaves the yard. Peralta's 12th dinger of the year. Cards go up 2-0 early. To the fourth we go. 2-1 now. Bird's offense starts to roll. John Jay hits one down the left field line. That scores Molina. Make it a 3-1 score now. And they were not finished yet. A little li while later, same inning. It's pitcher Carlos Martinez helping out his own cause. He hits a single up the middle to tack on two more runs of the score. In fact, both starting pitchers had at least one RBI on the day, but this game was all about Martinez. He earned his second win as a starter with five innings pitched, and he shows some emotion after this strikeout. Look at that. The offense takes care of things from the rest of the way, as in the sixth inning, scores five to one, but not for long. Shade Robinson drives the ball to the opposite field, and that's John Jay you'll see in a second, chugging around the bases. He scores all the way from first. No throw is even made. That makes it 6-1, to one, and the Cardinals hung on for a 7-2 victory over the Giants in the rubber match of the three-game set. The Redbirds begin a series with the Miami Marlins tonight. Fans at Bush Stadium can stick around to the ballpark for a fireworks display following the game tonight in St. Louis, but you won't find a show at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. The Royals will be on the road for a three-game set with the Cleveland Indians to continue their nine-game road trip. And speaking of fireworks, that's one way to describe the upcoming events in NBA free agency. Several big names are on the market and up for grabs, but none more important than four-time MVP LeBron James. When he first opted out of his contract, all signs pointed to James returning to the Miami Heat, but his agent has been meeting with several teams this past week that are hoping to acquire the superstar forward. The Phoenix Suns, Houston Rockets, Dallas Mavericks, and yes, even the Cleveland Cavaliers are the teams that have reportedly been granted these meetings. And that is going to do it for sports.